Hello everyone. I'd like to take a minute to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I realized that I just passed 50 subscribers, which may not seem like a big milestone to some people, but I think it's a pretty big milestone in my eyes. So for everyone that subscribed to my channel, thank you. I really appreciate it. I went to the coin shop and as you see, there's some barbers and sanding liberties in front of you. I normally cherry pick through the constitutional bin for the 90% so I can get the better condition. I try to minimize silver loss as much as possible. However, sometimes I come across some finds where I generally don't care about the silver loss. So anybody else that likes to collect coins knows how rare it is to find barber quarters. A lot of times you can find standing liberty quarters, however, they're so slicked out. A lot of times you just pass over them because you can't read the dates and silver loss is so significant on them. It's not even worth picking up for bullion. So this time, apparently somebody turned in a collection that they had and there were quite a few standing liberties that had some dates. So I was able to put together a whole roll. Uh, I got all these standing liberties are 1925 through 1930. So nothing really exciting to the most people, but I picked all those up. And I picked up some barber quarters. You can read the date on all of them, so I'm very excited about that. So I'll focus. Nineteen sixteen. Sorry about that. Nineteen sixteen D. Eighteen ninety eight P. Nineteen fifteen D. Nineteen oh nine P. Nineteen fourteen D. Eighteen ninety six. P. This one looks like it's been cleaned or polished at one time. 1896 P. 1902 P. 1908 D. 1915 P. And 1911 P. So, like I said, I got a roll of Standing Liberties and Barbers, if it ever focuses. Sorry, I'm still on business in Virginia, so I'm using my phone. There it goes. So, if you don't know what silver loss is that I'm talking about, International Stacker put a very good video together explaining silver loss, but we'll give you a quick demonstration. These are 40 quarters, so they fit in the roll, and it should go all the way to the top. But as we'll see, over the time, rubbing off into his pockets and their hands. The coins get worn and a lot of the silver content is lost over the years. So this should be a lot higher. So that's what I mean by silver loss. So that's why I cherry pick generally to get better conditions to minimize my silver loss when I get constitutional silver. All right. Thanks a lot again, everybody. Like and subscribe. Have a good night.